to marry. Bellatrix are married. I'm so excited for them. Wait, what? Why is the Grim Reaper here? <gasps> oh no! Hey rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family. In this episode we're going to be having Samaria and Bellatrix's wedding which is going to be so much fun. We're also going to be having a proposal. Sir Thomas Stratton is going to be proposing to Lady Ariana. We're going to have Han and Aramin to try for another baby and then we're going to have Kaleo and Jessica age up into teenagers. So if you're excited for this episode make sure you hit that like button. So we're doing something a little bit different for Samaria and Bellatrix's wedding. We're having the ceremony here. This was built by Lord Crumps. We were trying to find a venue, a place for them to have the ceremony. And we were doing this on the stream. And he asked if I wanted him to build something real quick. And I was like, sure. And he did this in like 10 minutes. It was so fast. So we're just having the ceremony here. And then we're going to have the reception at the Sulani Palace, the main one. I could not stop people from changing into their bathing suits since we're on the water. Hopefully they, I don't know, we, we might just have to deal with some people in their bathing suits and pretend that's not a thing. As you can see, I have Bellatrix in her uniform. So this is actually made by Bats from Westeros. And I have another outfit for Bellatrix for the reception. And then Samaria, this is the dress that she's gonna wear and she looks so pretty. I will make sure to get some good pictures here too because if you just look at this, this actually looks really pretty at night. I did wanna do it with like the sunset cause it's just so pretty with the sunset and then by the time they get married i think it'll be nighttime and then we can just go down this and see how pretty it is but yeah actually let's just go ahead and jump into the ceremony and then we're going to be going to the palace for the reception so yeah let's go ahead and have them get married so they are walking now to the alt oh gosh i'm so, oh, so excited for them okay so bellatrix and samaria are now getting married i do think that they are going to be moving out shortly after their wedding i'll have them still here for like cleo's birthday party because we'll still be with the Sulani royal family for that. I do think that Samaria is going to be getting the title of Marchioness. So she'll be the Marchioness of Sulani. But yeah, they will not be living very far. She's going to again move out shortly after this. I'm so excited for them too, you guys. They're just, oh, they're so in love. They're so cute together. I love them so much. They've been together for such a long time too. They've like had to overcome a lot of stuff, just like doing the whole long distance thing and everything. Okay, they are now exchanging their ring and they're married, guys. Samaria and Bellatrix are married. I'm so excited for them. So it does look like everybody crowded over here. Like, oh my gosh, we have, is this Kellen? Yes, it's Kellen. He's doing sit-ups. Oh gosh, everyone's in their bathing suits. This this was just, ah. Uh... Oh, by the way, Nani did turn into a teenager. She does look a little bit irritated right now and I don't know why, but yeah, she's a teenager now. But yay, okay. So yeah, this was a ceremony. Oh yeah, and then you guys can see here. Oh, we just got people kind of walking in their bathing suits. Okay, hold on. I'm actually gonna show you guys a picture here that I'm gonna take. I guess this could have got a little bit better. That's okay. All right, so we are now going to go to the Sulani Palace to have the wedding reception. Okay, so we are now at the Sulani Palace. So we will be in Sulani lot. We were here in the last episode. We'll be here twice in this episode, but I'm going to be having Kaleo and Jessica's birthday party at the Mermaid Palace instead. But yeah, we're having their wedding here. We are having the reception in the Grand Hall slash throne room. So I kind of just made a few changes here. I also got the slow dancing mod by Sacrificial Mods, I believe. I will link it in the description below. It works great. It is so much easier than posing them and using animations to get them to dance with each other. All you have to do, let's have Bellatrix and Samaria. Why don't we have them slow dance? Makan is just dancing by himself. But yeah, let's have them slow dance. Also throughout this wedding, I'm probably going to be playing from like, like adding some of the characters to our family. So that way we can pay attention to some of them. But yeah, so you go into the romance interactions and it's there. It's a slow dance with princess. It's supposed to be Princess Samaria, but yeah. So then they just have this little cute romantic interaction. They like whisper in each other's ear and then they start slow dancing with each other. It's so cute. I don't have to like time it right with the animations. They do it on their own and it's great. This is going to make like the debutante balls easier. Just like any royal event with dancing, it'll make it so much easier. But our guests are still arriving. So we have some people walking in. Lily is pregnant again. She's in her third trimester. So she will be having another baby soon. Yeah, I decided just to go ahead and age up Jessica. I need to age up a lot of the kids 
chance to progress the story. So I've been, I know I've been putting it off for a while and it was mostly because I wanted Jessica to have family time. So yeah, we are just gonna go ahead and age them up. But we have Elena here and Gabriel. We have Zamora here. We have Elon. We have William here too. And then we have Alice May. Alice May is gonna be aging up in the next episode. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited for her to age up too. I'm excited for Kaleo and Jessica to age up also. And then we have Molly Gray, she's here. So, I mean, I didn't change too much from her. This is just like a similar red dress that I showed you guys in the last episode. She's making a really weird face right now. I don't know why, but you guys saw her in the last episode too. A lot of people said they liked her because she looks different. I actually think her and Frederick look like wins. Like their faces look exactly the same. Also, Makana, why did you change into your bathing suit? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change him back. That's, that's a no. Oh, he's going swimming. No, don't go swimming. Stay here. And then we have Jabari here. We have Evangeline. We have Nani, who still looks a little bit irritated. I don't know why. Oh, and then Kimmy. Oh, come to talk to Kimmy. Oh, we have Ellis here and we have Takashi. Corn boy should be here. I invited the toddlers, so here we have the little Sayori. We have Princess Sayori. Oh my gosh, and Han. Han is talking to both toddlers. That's so cute. This is Iolana. This is Makai's daughter. And Han's entertaining them. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We have Abraham here, Diana's fiance. And then we have Jessica and Kaleo talking outside here. So Maxwell and Journey. So I'm actually not gonna show their wedding. I'm so sorry. There's just so much to get to. I'm sure we'll see them. We'll see them especially at Charles and at Alan's wedding. But yeah, I just, there, there was so much stuff to get through. Some birthdays we might not get a chance to see either, but I'll kind of keep you guys updated on things. But we have some Maria and Bellatrix slow dancing together. Man, this is cute. <gasps> I love this. I love this so much. I'm so, oh yeah, this is uh, not Samaria. This is Bellatrix's dress, by the way. So it's actually a, a pantsuit with like a skirt attached to the back. So I just had her change for the reception. And then I also have a picture of them here. So I mentioned when Abraham proposed to Diana, I had a link to how to do this in there. So I'll, I'll link it again in this video. You guys can find out how to add your own pictures to objects and photos in game to put them in the game. Oh my gosh, look at this. Ellen and Fallon are talking. I think that's kind of cool just because like her family, like she comes from a family of farmers and she, they live in Willow Creek and Ellis is a farmer and he lives in Willow Creek. I don't think they've known each other before all this, but oh, okay. I'm going to add uh, Cornelius, the family, and I'm going to, oh no, why are you angry? Riled up, maybe just from being around Takashi and Elena, I don't know. I still think his relationship with Elena and Takashi are a little bit rocky. I think he might give some dirty looks to Takashi when he sees him sometimes. Actually, Takashi's right over here. Oh, and then we have Frederick. Oh, and then yeah, we have Jessica. So Jessica will be aging up to a teen. We're going to be doing other stuff and then coming back for their birthday party. So we'll get to see them together. But I'm going to have Cornelius ask Ellis to slow dance. So I think with Cornelius and Ellis, Cornelius has been working his butt off to try to just catch up for all the years that he's missed. Oh wait, I'm gonna have Makana ask Kimmy to slow dance too. I like that they like keep slow dancing. It doesn't have to like last for a second and then they stop. But Cornelius has been studying really hard. Sometimes he just overworks himself a little bit and Ellis has to like remind him to take breaks. I think Ellis has been trying to learn as much as he can as well. And I think he's really starting to feel a lot more comfortable at the events and possibly ready to get engaged to Cornelius soon. I think Ellis still wants to just plan a few things out. So it might take like, you know, a little bit more time, but I, I think he's getting there. I think he's almost ready. And then with Kimmy and Makana, again, Kimmy has been a little bit nervous about the whole mermaid thing. So I think she's gonna be trying to talk to Samaria about that soon. She really, Really, really loves Makana, but she also knows that he's going through a lot and he's trying to like study what he needs to as well to become the future monarch. So she doesn't really want to bother him with it. Makai, what do you, why, why? Of course he's the one to show up in his bathing suit. Like everyone else changed, but he's going to be having another kid soon. I'm so excited for them. I'll make sure to post a lot of pictures of Jessica and Makai and Lily and the babies. But yeah, unfortunately it's just hard to have like that in between, between the kid and the teenager phase. And just for story progression, I need to age up the kids. But Jessica has been so helpful with the kids. She just wants to help out as much as she can with the babies, making sure that Lily has everything she needs. She loves playing with her little sister too. Oh my gosh, Lily though, oh my God. Whoa, this, I don't know if it's just the dress. The baby bump looks a little bit strange, but she's very pregnant, oh my gosh. And then with Charles and Fat, 
Charlton. I'm gonna add Charles to the family so he can ask Fallon to slow dance. But yeah, they're going to be having their wedding fairly soon as well. I'm going to try to have their wedding in the next episode. If I don't get a chance, then definitely the episode after that. And then Diana and Abraham will be getting married shortly after that too. Okay, well, they're slow dancing out in the hallway. That's, that's fine, I guess. And then Gabriel and Arya, I just, I need a little bit more time to set up their wedding and prepare for it. So give me a, a, just like a few more episodes for theirs too. But I am, oh, they're slow dancing. They're still so cute. I am going to have Samaria and Bellatrix cut the cake. Someone did ask me in the comments in the last episode, like if Bellatrix wanted to be a mermaid, could she? But for the mermatic kelp that turns them into a mermaid. So in this world, it is rare. The mermatic kelp is very rare. It's hard to find. So that's why it's only the heir and their spouse, like whoever the heir marries, they are the only ones who eat the mermatic kelp because if it wasn't rare, they could just give the kelp to the kids. So that's why I don't have like the other the royal kids who they marry become mermaids and eat that kelp. But yeah, I just wanted to explain that. I know that whole thing's like a little bit confusing. So hopefully that clarifies it just a little bit. And we have Desta here too. So as you guys saw, she did meet Zamora in the last episode and Zamora seemed to like her. I think Zamora is a little bit worried because Desta, she is in the military. She's in the army with Bellatrix. And I think Zamora is just like a little worried because she doesn't know if Desta will would have time to fulfill the needs as like future queen because it does take a lot of time and a big commitment if she were to be the queen of Salvadorada. But I think just because like Adric has time before he would become king, basically Desta still has time in her career, time to focus on it before anything. But yeah, I think that's something Zamora is gonna wanna talk to Adric about pretty soon. And then as far as the teenagers, the next ones to age up is going to be Aisha. And Lady Ariana's actually already aged up into a young adult, which is why we're going to be going there for her and Thomas's proposal right after this. But yeah, Aisha is going to be aging up pretty soon. I'll probably have her birthday party like at a club or something. I think she'll just wanna go out with her friends. And then Juliet and Elena and Takshi and Manuel will be after that. Oh, and then we have Bellatrix here sitting with her sister, sitting with Amira. Oh, her whole family's so happy for them. We have all of her family here. We have Diana and Evangeline, Charles and Kellen. So I think it's nice just to have the whole family here. Oh, Kimmy and McCann are still slow dancing with each other. That's so cute. Also a little update. So with my whole Royal Adventure miniseries that had Charles and Bellatrix in it. I had mentioned that Nea, Queen Nea, she was the one who was looking into the whole Strangerville situation. And then the whole thing happened with Prince Philip. So she had to deal with that, but she had like other people on the staff who were working on things in Strangerville and looking into like, what was it before and all this stuff. So I think we'll be learning about that fairly soon too. And then we have little Cedric here. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at him, look how cute he is. I I love him. He has Amira's gigantic eyes. I love that Lily is dancing here and she's like so pregnant, but she's, oh my God, she is like getting down. Okay, so that is our wedding. So next we're gonna go to Sir Thomas Stratton and Lady Ariana. But yeah, I'm so happy for Bellatrix and Samaria. I'm just gonna have them talk to each other one last time. Again, they will be moving out soon or Samaria will be moving out soon. I only moved Bellatrix in here for the wedding just so it was easier to control her from here. But yeah, they're so cute. Okay, all right, let's go. Go ahead to Lady Ariana and Sir Thomas Stratton. Okay, so we are now with Sir Thomas Stratton and Lady Ariana. So a few days ago, Sir Thomas, he had spoken to Lady Ariana's parents, Princess Belle and Prince Francisco or Earl Francisco and Countess Belle, just because Thomas is very old fashioned. He just wanted to make sure he had Ariana's parents' blessing because he knows that her relationship with them, it's really important to her. Her parents mean the world to her. They've been so accepting of him, even though they like ran into the whole age difference thing when they first started dating. But they've been together for years now. She's already turned into a young adult and he's ready to propose to her. So yeah, her parents, they were so happy. They were so thrilled. They love Thomas. They love how respectful he is, how kind he is and how well he treats Ariana. So they were more than happy to give their blessing. So they are at this little restaurant. They're on a date here. So as I mentioned in the last episode, I have added a lot more Iberian inspired buildings to Brindleton Bay. So I added this one. There's this one which I love because it goes perfectly with the whole outside of this. This is actually a museum. And then here, I believe this is a restaurant and this is like a little shopping area. So it's really pretty. Actually, I might consider this for a, a place that they get married. I didn't even realize that there is a wedding arch over here. Although I'm not a huge fan of how murky a 
and green the water is. I don't know if there's a way to clean that at all. I'm trying to think where he can propose to her because he's about to, but I'm wondering if it should be like at the restaurant or if it should be somewhere around it. Mm, let I, okay, yes, I know the water's a little bit green, but it's still pretty. So let's have them go here. Okay, they just got their food. So maybe we should let them eat a little bit first. But with Ariana and Thomas, so the thing is Thomas works in Windenburg. So he could either get transferred to the Brindleton Bay Palace and work there as a guard, or they could move to Windenburg. I don't think it's yet been decided. I think that'll be a discussion for after they get engaged. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, which one you think they should do. Because if they stay in Brindleton Bay, then Ariana could inherit the title of Countess. But if they move to Windenburg, she might be able to work up to being on the, like Amira's royal staff or something. So there's a few different options for them. All right, so they've pretty much eaten their food. Oh, it's hot out. Okay, well, that's fine. I think this will be pretty. Let's go here. We'll go there together and then and yeah, basically they'll be eating and then Thomas will be like, hey, let's go on a walk. Oh, they both brought their wine with them. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, he just put it in his pocket. Okay. Well, he's feeling flirty and so is Ariana. So that's good. Okay, so they are now, or Thomas is now getting ready to propose to her. I think they're so cute. They're adorable. Thomas really loves her. She really loves Thomas. She was willing to like sneak around with him for a while when they first started dating. And then, yeah, I just think it's really sweet too that Belle and Francisco, Ariana's parents, they really do like Thomas. Okay, so he's now proposing to her. Oh my gosh. She's also wearing, that used to be Princess Cora's dress. That used to be her grandmother's dress. She would wear that sometimes, but yay. <gasps> They're now engaged. They're so cute. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below if you think they should stay in Windenburg, if you think they should, or sorry, if you think they should stay in Brindleton Bay or if you think they should go to Windenburg. But yay, I'm so happy for them. They'll be having their wedding probably in a couple episodes. I'll probably be having like one episode for just like a ton of weddings. So I'm really excited for that. Okay, but we're now going to Hana Araminta because they're gonna be trying for a baby. So yes, let's go ahead to them. Okay, so we are here at the Glimmerbrook Palace and Zayori, she is sleeping. She's taking a little nap right now. Takshi's over at the Willow Creek Palace hanging out with Elena and then Araminta and Han. I'm gonna have them try for another baby. Oh, do I have to do that from them? Okay, hold on. So yeah, but I do think it's time for Han and Araminta to try for another baby. They've had a little over a year with Sayori and they definitely do wanna have more kids. So where can we try? Can we only try for a baby in the shower? Okay, I mean, well, why, why? There's a bed right here. Can we not use it? Okay, so no trying for a baby anywhere else except for the shower. All right, that's fine. Go ahead. We We'll let them do that. Oh, and then Mei Lin and Kintaro, they are traveling right now. So just enjoying their married life. So they'll be traveling for a bit more time. Okay, they are still trying for a baby. They, ha they had fireworks. Hopefully that means that she is pregnant. I like that she came out in her chi pao too. And Han came out in a towel, but now he changed. Okay, um, Han, oh no, no, no. Go in here so Araminta can take a pregnancy test and we will see if she is pregnant. Okay, let's see. Are you pregnant, Araminta? <gasps> Yay, she is, she's pregnant. <gasps> okay, oh guys, I'm so excited for them. All right, she's gonna go tell Han now. They're having another baby. Oh, I'm so excited for them. Oh my gosh, yay. Okay, they're having another kid. I'm so excited. Okay, cool. We are now going to be having Kaleo and Jessica's birthday party. It's actually gonna be a combined birthday party. So let's go ahead to Sulani. We are now at the second Sulani palace. This is the Gorgana palace or the mermaid palace. So this was made by Fandom Angel 09. So you can find this on her gallery. So we're just waiting for the guests to arrive, but we are doing a conjoined party with Jessica and Kaleo and then Alice May will be aging up in the next episode and I'm so excited for that. I actually invited a lot of people. There's a lot of family coming, a lot of kids and a lot of teenagers too. I am assuming a lot of people are probably going to end up swimming which is fine. That's better here than it was at the wedding. Oh and it looks like we have Lord Shen here. Oh whoops. Okay I'm going to have Kaleo go talk to Shen. It looks like Dean's just like hanging out over his shoulder. I don't know why. And then Nani's coming with the plate of food. Okay that's fine. She doesn't look as angry as she did before. And then we do have some Mary here. So yeah, Samaria and Bellatrix aren't in the household right now, but I did invite them to the birthday party. Oh, and then we have Corn Boy. But Samaria and Bellatrix are gonna be leaving for their honeymoon like later this evening, like after Cleo's birthday. She wanted to be there for her brother's birthday party. And then Bellatrix and Samaria, I think they're gonna go to Granite Falls for their honeymoon. So they'll be there for a little bit. Though actually they might be back by the next episode. So Bellatrix can be there for Alice May's birthday party. And then, oh, and then we have Cedric too. Cedric's here. So 
maybe he'll go join the kids and go talk to them. It looks like all the kiddos are hanging out up here. And we have Makai and Koda, the two brothers, talking here. I wonder if... Oh, Makai seems a little bit tense. I wonder if Lily had her baby. Oh, Dust is here. Okay, she's here. Arya is dressed up very fancily. She's dressed up in the dress that she had when Gabriel proposed to her. I am also debating for the debutante ball if we should wait until Cedric and even like Zayori, if we should wait till they become teens. I don't think we can wait that long. I don't think we can wait for Zayori. We might be able to wait for Cedric, but I'm not 100% sure. I was kind of thinking of just doing the debutante ball after Alice May aged up into a teenager. So we'll see. I want to do one soon though. And the next one's probably going to be at the Willow Creek Palace. We do have Ellis here too. So yeah, we have a lot of people here. Um, but I actually have not seen Jessica yet and she's supposed to blow out the candles first. Okay, I did have to teleport Jessica here, but I'm going to... Ooh, the lights just came on. Okay. But yeah, we're going to have her age up. Oh, and then Makana and Kimmy, they're talking over there. Oh gosh, I'm so excited for her to age up. <gasps> we're going to see her as a teen. Oh, the light, it's like really bright here, isn't it? It. Okay, next we are going to have Kaleo. He's going to, oh yeah, let's add the birthday candles before people start eating the cake. All right, but Kaleo, he is now going to blow out the candles. Oh, I'm so excited for all of them, you guys. Oh, we can see what color tail he has too. Yay. <gasps> okay, Kaleo, I am going to give him the jealous trait because I think he has shown a little bit of signs of jealousy. So we're gonna give him that. I'm also going to give Hit. Ooh, I'm wondering if I should give him the soulmate one. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Let's give him the soulmate aspiration. All right, I'm gonna change their outfits real quick and then we'll come back to the party. So give me one second. Okay, so I have chosen their outfits. So this is Jessica. She has like barely any makeup on. I put eyelashes on her and like some skin details, but I didn't put any like lip stuff, lip stuff, lip gloss, or eyeliner, or eyeshadow, or anything on her, and she's so pretty. I love her, and then this is Kaleo, so, oh, okay, he's making a weird face right now, but this is Kaleo. Again, I tried to pick hair and stuff that was as similar to, or as closely similar to their kid style was, so it's probably gonna be changing. I like Jessica's. I might change Kaleo's. I think there's another hairstyle I wanna try for him, but let's go ahead and call people, so call them meal and I'll show you guys his mermaid tail too. It's like a bluish blackish pattern or something on it. It's really cool. But Cleo is calling people to come get some cake. Oh, I want to have Jessica go pick up her little sister. Let's, um, I don't know. Why don't we have her play with her? There we go. We got Jessica playing with her little sister, Iolana. They're so cute. Oh, Lily. Oh, wait, she doesn't, she doesn't have her baby bump anymore. That means they have their baby. Oh, okay. I will show you guys their baby, I guess in the next episode. And by then the kiddos will both be toddlers, like full grown toddlers probably. Oh my God. Gosh, they're so cute. Okay, Kaleo, why don't you come swimming? Well, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see in the dark, but maybe you will. Let's see, Kaleo, let's see your new tail. Uh, wow, okay, you're just walking. Oh, I guess we have to go all the way to like the full water. Okay, mermaid tail, let's go. What? Wait, 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 what? Um, oh, okay, I was like, that took a second. Okay, well, he is about to dive straight into that wall, but I think you guys can see his tail. It's like got blue and gray in it. I think it has like a little bit of black in it too. Oh, yep, yeah, he just hit his head on that wall. <laughs> He's still getting used to his tail. That's fine. Okay. Oh, it's like taking a second. <laughs> walking with the tail. Okay, this is weird. This is super weird. Okay, there we go. Yep, all right, we're back. Interest, oh, he still has a crown on. I gotta fix and find his other outfits too, so just ignore that. Anyway, maybe we should have him and the other guests go swimming for a bit, like the kid. Oh, I should have Jessica go talk to Frederick too. Okay, um, I don't know, swim around. Then I'm gonna have Jessica go talk to Frederick if I can find him. Wait. Is that the Grim Reaper? Wait, what? Why is the Grim Reaper here? Oh, I found Frederick. <gasps> oh no! Wait, what the heck? Guys, wait, it didn't like, like the camera didn't shift or anything. Oh my God, did King Cayman just die? From what? How old is he? <gasps> He was, okay, he's like a good amount older than Jabari. Like he turned into an elder quite a while ago, but it wasn't that long ago. Everyone, like it's not processed with everyone yet. Everyone's just standing around. Zamora's literally right there. And so is Elon. Where's Adric? Wait, Adric's right here too. Yeah, it, I don't think it's processed with everyone yet. Oh, witness death. Oh no, people are people are figuring it out. They've seen this dead body here. Oh yeah, I got rid of the Mortem mod, the realistic death mod that I had 
when Prince Philip had died because it took way too long for the people to get there. So I know obviously it's not realistic for having the Grim Reaper just show up, but it's more efficient, so. Oh my, okay, now it's processing with everyone. Is Jabari even here? His brother's dying. Wait, Samora's here. Sissy's here. <gasps> oh my God, what the heck? How did, what did he die from? Wait, what the heck? I was literally just talking about how Adric has more time. This is so sad. Oh, Zamora's crying. Everyone's crying. Alice May's crying. The toddlers are crying. I feel so bad for their kid. I feel bad for Sissy. Sissy's like just turned into a child. She's still really young. She's losing her dad at such a young age. Oh no, oh no. Oh, and the Grim Reaper got him. Oh no. Okay. We're, we're gonna, uh, oh God, I have to give this urn to Leilana to give to Zamora. That's gonna be so sad. I don't know what happened. How did he die? Um, Cayman, death by old age? What? The, I feel like this was like King Edmund. He died like fairly early after he had turned into an elder. Maybe he had like, I don't know, a heart attack or something. Like that's the only thing I can reason for dying like pretty early on after he had turned into an elder. Oh no. Guys. Oh, the Grim Reaper's taking picture. All right, go away, dude. You, 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 you're not here. Just disappear, please. Um, well, I was going to have Jessica go talk and flirt with Frederick, but maybe that's not a great idea right now. Maybe we should wait until the next episode. <gasps> maybe in the next episode, we can have their first date. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about like the happy things when like clearly we just had something really sad happen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, well, it's probably going to be a while for Adric to have his coronation. Oh gosh. <gasps> this kind of throws things a little bit out of whack, um, but we'll figure it out. Oh, and then like the whole thing with Desta too, because Amora was worried about Adric being with Desta because she wanted to, like she was focused on her career and if she were to be queen, like she'd have to focus on other things with the kingdom. Okay, I guess I'm gonna end this episode here and then we will figure, oh, there's Amora. Oh no, I'm gonna have Leilana go comfort her. But okay, well, um, yeah, we're gonna end this episode here. So let me know what you think of, I guess, Yes, Cayman's death. We're gonna have to figure that out in the next episode and we're gonna see what happens, just the aftermath of everything. Let me know what you guys thought of Samaria and Bellatrix's wedding. Let me know what you guys think of Kaleo and Jessica now that they're aged up. Let me know what you think Han and Araminta, what they're gonna have. And then also let me know what you thought of Sir Thomas and Ariana's proposal. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.